Hey everyone, it's Chad Schwartz here at Lehigh Gap Nature Center. Today's topic is rocks. Do rocks talk? Of course they don't. But they do have lots of interesting stories to tell us nonetheless. And today we're all going to be geologists, people who study rocks. We're going to try to learn some of those stories by looking at these rocks more closely. Now that we all have our geology hats on, let's start to take a closer look at these rocks here at the Nature Center. So what are they made of? What kind of rocks are they? Well, let's start by breaking it down into three categories. Any rock on Earth fits into one of three categories. So the first type of rock is called igneous rock. Igneous rocks are rocks that form near volcanoes. They're made of lava or magma. Molten rock that comes from the Earth, okay? So those are the types of rocks that you might find in Hawaii, for example, around all the volcanoes down there. Another type of rock is called sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks are made up of little tiny sediments, as their name suggests. Could be made out of sand, could be made out of clay, mud, little tiny sediments that squeeze together to make solid rock. That's sedimentary rock. The third category is called metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks are kind of somewhere in the middle. Those are rocks that are changed by heat and pressure inside of the earth. So which one of those three categories of rocks am I sitting on right now? Do you think it is igneous from a volcano? Do you think it's sedimentary made out of little tiny grains of sand or mud or something like that? Or do you think it is metamorphic somewhere in the middle? Well, let's take a closer look. So I have with me here a piece of rock that I found here at the Nature Center that comes from the mountain behind us here. This is exactly what the mountain is made of. If we put on our geology hats now and look at this very closely, we might be able to figure out which of those categories this rock belongs to. Is it igneous rock made out of lava or magma? Is it sedimentary rock made out of little sediments? Is it metamorphic, one of those rocks that's somewhere in between that's changed by heat and pressure? Well, let's look at a few things here. So let's think about some different characteristics that we might look at to figure out what type of rock this is. You might say size is a good characteristic. But rocks can be in all different sizes. This rock can be smashed into much smaller pieces. So size doesn't really tell us too much. Color might tell us a few things. Color could tell us what the rock is made out of. Texture is another thing. How this rock feels, that might give us some clues, possibly. Uh, and even beyond that, scientists sometimes look at how hard a rock is. Sometimes they'll look at the minerals that are inside of it a little more closely, and that will give them some clues. But if you look at how this rock is layered here behind me, we know that it has to be sedimentary. Each of these layers that you see here is another layer of sediment that built up on top of other layers as time went by. Each layer is like a sheet of paper stacked on top of the others. The layers that are closer to the bottom here are older. So you can imagine, if these rocks formed in an ancient environment out of sediments, you would have had some sediments landing on the ground or whatever type of environment it formed in. Then another layer would have landed on top of that. And then another layer would have landed on top of that. And then another layer and then another layer. And it builds up and builds up and builds and builds and builds over time. Now what's really amazing is scientists can actually tell exactly how old the oldest sediments are at the very bottom layer of this rock. Scientists have figured out that these rocks are more than twice as old as the dinosaurs. These are about 400 million years old. Extremely old rocks. And even closer to the Nature Center building, the rocks are about 500 million years old. Super duper old rocks. So sedimentary rocks are real easy to date. We can tell exactly how old they are based on the age of the bottom layer. Texture alone though, how this rock feels is enough to tell us that this rock is made out of little tiny grains of sand in this case, if you look very closely. So this is a sedimentary rock that we would call sandstone. Sedimentary rocks are always named after what type of sediment they're made of. So if it's made of mud, it's called mudstone. Made of silt, it's called siltstone. In this case, it's made of sand, so it's called sandstone. So now we know that these rocks are made out of sand. And that sand fell in the bottom of an ocean 400 million years ago. And it was squeezed together to make that sandstone rock. But the question that we have now is, how does rock that forms under an ocean 400 million years ago 
end up inside of a mountain in the middle of Pennsylvania today? Well, it has something to do with the fact that the Earth is made up of three different main sections. We have the crust on the outside of the Earth, just like the pizza has a crust on the outside. We have the mantle underneath that, which is kind of like the jelly in a jelly donut. Not quite that soft, but it's kind of squishy rock. And then in the middle of the Earth, we have something called the core. Just like the middle of the apple, the core is in the middle of the Earth. Those are the Earth's three layers. But we're going to focus in on that outside layer, the crust, which is what we are all standing on and living on today. The crust is not one solid sheet. It's almost like a broken sidewalk. It's broken into these big, cracked chunks. And each of those chunks is called a plate. Plates are constantly moving, either toward each other, away from each other, next to each other. And sometimes, when they collide, a mountain like this forms. That's exactly what happened 270 million years ago. Africa and North America collided, and that's how this mountain that we call the Blue Mountain of the Kittatinny Ridge today formed. So let's imagine that Africa is over here, North America is over here. These rocks uh, in my fingers represent the sandstone at the bottom of the ocean. So that rock started out deep under the ocean, but look at what happens as the continents collide. Africa and North America push against each other, and they push that rock up and up and up and up and up to form a mountain. So the rock that started out under the ocean is now on top of a mountain. And when these mountains formed, they were almost as high as Mount Everest, believe it or not. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world today. These mountains were just about as tall. But ever since then, they've slowly been falling apart through something called weathering, through something called erosion. All the forces of nature, wind and water and ice, have broken these rocks apart and carried pieces away. So that's why this mountain that was once huge is now just this round thing that's about a thousand feet tall. Nowhere near what it used to be. So now hopefully you know a little bit more about how to uh, classify rocks, how to break them into categories. And maybe when you go outside of your house, look around, maybe gather some rocks and try to figure out what they're made of. Most of the rocks in our area here are some kind of sedimentary rock. Now they might be made out of different types of sediments. We have mudstone nearby here in the Lehigh Gap. Rocks might not talk, but they have lots of stories to tell. So check out the rocks in your backyard today.